my name is Marisha Jackson. I go by MJ. I live in Portland, Oregon, kind of in downtown. And I typically reconnect with water by running to the waterfront. Um, I run with a run club called Deadstock Run Club that always runs on the waterfront. It's really hard sometimes, A, when you're new to a place to meet people. And in a place like Portland, it can also be hard to like find a lot of black people, brown people, diverse groups of people. And so Deadstock kind of provides both of those things. Rivers are natural running routes. You can do an out and back, you're not gonna get lost, you just follow the water. And then it's also just so aesthetically pleasing. It's like one of my favorite things to live now in a city that has like such a strong kind of path along the river. My view of what it means to reconnect with water I, like has changed since childhood. But I'm not sure exactly when that shift happened. As I got older, I remember I started taking long walks and I was like, I'm just gonna start calling this a hike because I don't know where I can hike nearby, but I lived in a really hilly area in Los Angeles and I was like, this is basically hiking. So I would tell people like, I go on urban hikes. Me as a black woman in particular, it's like, you know, whenever you saw people that looked like me in natural areas, it wasn't necessarily in a leisurely fun context. It's like we're slaves, we're being, you know, lynched. I just do think that there's something inside that's like, okay, like this kind of environment is scary for people like me. I do think though, being able to start things the way I wanted to start things and instead of shutting myself down and being like, okay, well that's just not for me, but instead being like, well, I'm just gonna do it in a way that's comfortable for me, helped me get to a point of being like, okay, I'll risk it. One of my favorite things is being able to just walk through like city parks, small city parks, big city parks, it doesn't matter. I'm very much an aimless wanderer a lot in the places I live in. One of my favorite parks is Tanner Springs Park. There's like these like wetland type grasses and there's a lot of information on the signs in the park to tell you about the history of it. Even if it's through like a micro habitat or like a park like Tanner Springs, when you feel like you've connected with it in some way, you're more likely to make decisions that'll help protect it. Maybe it hits home for you more how finite all of these resources are. Whether you wanna identify as outdoorsy or not, we're still part of the world's ecosystem, even in our cities. I think it's so easy to think of city and country as like two separate things. And I think we're actually all interconnected. And I think if we can all start acting as if we're interconnected and believing that we're interconnected, it'll be easier for us to make better decisions for the world. Mm -hmm.